Welcome to the Children in Scotland podcast. In this episode, Children in Scotland's communications manager Chris Small and our designer Angus Doyle explore the design process for our new members' publication, including insights into work by young illustrators. Insight by Children in Scotland For the first edition of our new members' publication Insight, we collaborated with fourth-year illustration students at Edinburgh College of Art. 27 students provided creative responses to five pieces of editorial, including the front cover. In this short film, we showcase examples of the work by all the students who took part. 1. Personal Reflection Work by students responding to a personal reflection column by our new CEO, Judith Turbine, which focused on the importance of listening and collaboration in improving children's lives. On the left, an illustration of our CEO, Jude, wearing a sheriff's badge by Anna Broderstadt. On the right, Digby Lambert's image of Jude with her hand to her ear listening, which was published in the first issue. Anna Merrin's drawing on the left is a side view portrait of Jude, with a tangle of wires on her head representing ideas. And on the right, Paulina Met has illustrated cogs containing woodcut style images of scales, a raised fist and a group of smiling children. Erica Molina McLeod Brittain's illustration on the right is of a woman carrying books and people under her arm and thoughts pouring like water from her head. On the right, Holly Over's drawing of Jude shows her in a gold frame mirror wearing a CEO badge. Ross Richardson's illustration left shows two figures playing Yenga and a girl placing a block at the top of the tower. Georgia Smith's piece on the other side is a cartoon of Jude reading and enjoying a book. This illustration by Marley Theobald shows 12 arms reaching into a circle in a pink background with hands overlapping at the centre. One of the arms has the word mum tattooed onto it. 2. Perspectives Work by students responding to a comment piece by Dr Haya Johannes about the need for all of us in Scotland to welcome refugee women and families and help redeem their stories. A woodcut style illustration by Poppy Brook on the left depicts waves crashing over the front of a house and two arms stretching upwards out of the sea. On the right, Mark Gostelli's published artwork shows a refugee family walking towards a crossroads in the centre of a saltire with representations of Scotland in the surrounding imagery. On the left, Wei Cheng Yao's illustration has a mother holding a child in her lap against a saltire background. Ewan Mackey's composition on the right is of another female figure holding a child wrapped together in a pink floral pattern. Amy McPherson's illustration on the left has refugee figures sitting, clambering around and passing a giant saltire backdrop. On the right, Anna Merrin's piece has two young refugees in front of a Glasgow skyline, looking at an outstretched hand holding a key with a saltire on it. Paulina Metz's drawing on the left shows a woman and child from the back looking into an airport room with details below the figures indicating their journey. A woman in the sea wearing a headdress, reaches up desperately as waves surround her in Freya Moran's piece to the right. Sophie Smith's illustration on the left highlights the dangers of a refugee's journey in an orange, yellow and green snakes and ladders board. The right-hand piece by Bryce Starks Browning shows refugees battling through a maze of thick red tape with a hand beckoning in the foreground. On the left, a kneeling child sketches a picture of its home on crumpled paper while a bird looks on in a work by Zixing Wang. Yenny Wong Ching Yang's drawing right has a young girl in colour in the foreground, while behind her, in black and white, tents and a packed train convey her journey. 3. Learning Focus Work by students responding to an article about the Diploma in Therapeutic Life Story Work with children and young people, which we offered as part of our Learning and Events programme. In Lauren Valentine's illustration on the left, orange energy bursts from the heart of a smiling figure as hands reach towards her from below. On the right, Poppy Brook's piece shows a raging sea with a wave forming into a hand at the top, reaching down and trying to grasp another hand as books fall between them. Yu Ying Chan's drawing left is of a bridge in the clouds flanked by birds with a woman at the top reaching out to support a child. Alice Clark's published illustration on the right shows an abstract smiling figure cupping gold energy around its heart. On the left, Nazifa Katoon's published work tracks a figure drawn on lined notepaper, caught under a rain cloud, then sidestepping it, then finally enjoying sunlight. Wei Cheng Yao's piece, right, shows a child's face on a jigsaw puzzle piece placed over the head of a black and white figure with a blue ribbon circling the child's head.
Georgia Smith's illustration, Left, is a colourful storyboard of experiences and objects, including a mum and baby, a hand reaching out to a child, a teddy bear and a laptop. On the right is Sophie Smith's drawing of a red-haired girl in a cape and superheroine pose at the top of a mountain overlooking a sprawling landscape and sea. Left, Bryce Stark's browning sequence depicts a figure gradually rising out of deep water, then emerging to claim a mask and snorkel to help it breathe safely under the sea. Marley Theobald's piece on the right has two hands reaching towards each other, surrounded by stars and a computer monitor with keyboard and mouse in front. Kirsty Wade's drawing, left, shows an adult woman putting her arm on the shoulder of her younger self, a young girl. Both carry the same teddy bear. On the right, Zhe Sheng Wang's drawing has a young girl with angel's wings emerging from the sea, held in hands are reaching towards the sky. In this illustration by Yenny Wong Chin Yang, a young girl on a pastel pink and purple background reaches out to try to grab hold of an adult's hand. 4. Front Cover Cover artwork from the students responding to the overall identity and theme of Insight. On the left, Lauren Valentine's illustration shows a large, maned creature with orange energy flowing from its head and hybrid children-animal figures playing around it. Anna Broderstadt's right-hand image is of a diverse group of figures interlinked and supporting one another in a human chain. Yu Ying Chan's colourful image on the left has a dove speeding towards a rainbow with the figure of a child holding a plane in the clouds sitting below it. Anna Clark's illustration on the right is a young person's face intersected by four sections of the saltire with different ethnic backgrounds represented in each part. In Celeste John Wood's work on the left, outline figures filled with swirls sit around a central planet shape with red orange energy or flames rising from it. On the right, Digby Lambert's drawing shows a crowd of people in red silhouette celebrating on a slope with arrow and circle shapes floating like confetti above them. Ewan Mackey's illustration, left, is of a group of children playing on old-fashioned ropes, ladders, swings and a chute in a swimming pool in front of a sunlit sky. In Anna McPherson's piece, right, a diverse range of individuals with partially reptilian skin reach towards each other over the course of eight comic strip-style panels. To the left, Erica Molina McLeod Bretain's drawing has a girl falling from the sky and being caught by a giant hand with a grassy hillside, house and waving figures in the background. Freya Moran's illustration, right, shows a series of blue, red and pink hands crossing over or reaching out in a background of red, wash-style stripes. Holly Over's illustration, left, depicts a young boy meeting an old woman on a park bench, with the boy holding an umbrella to protect both of them from the rain. On the right, Ross Richardson's published cover piece is of a series of outstretched hands throwing paper airplanes into blue sky, some of which join or become doves. In Anna Stenning's garden set illustration, left, a woman has a dog on a lead and a boy looks through a telescope, out of which flow storybook images including a highland cow, a ship and Saturn. Kirsty Wade's portrait, right, is of a girl looking up at the sky with a bright star passing above her head. She's framed against a swathe of orange, pink and deep blue colours. Thanks to all the students who took part, and to Harvey Dingwall, Programme Director, the Aeons Illustration. Find out more about Insight at childreninscotland.org.uk forward slash product forward slash insight dash issue dash one dash autumn dash 2021. Thank you for listening to the Children in Scotland podcast. For more information about all of our work, including our communications work and membership, head to our website at www.childreninscotland.org.uk.